Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy X-2. So apparently, there's an awesome sphere down here, but it looks kinda Killica-ish. Like, I think there'd be more people here. Well, I'm not gonna complain. Quick and easy job for us. Awesome sphere, I wonder what's on it. Oh, okay, so I guess we aren't the only ones that know about it. You here for the sphere too? Have fun, but don't get carried away. And sympathi sympathize with why the Youth League would want to go on a rampage, but still. Oh, great. I hope. Boys can be so immature. <laughs> Not a care in the world. How nice. <laughs> I guess it must be referring to kids running around there with the balloon. Anyways, what you? I don't see why these kids are all huffed up. Oh, what? They're, they're kids. Jeez, balloons are fun. At least they can be, anyway. <laughs> there are more important things in life than spheres, I can tell you that. Oh, she's talking about... I guess there's more than just us here. Like fishing, I could, it could sure use a nice fish. Well, to be fair, fish can be delish, you know. There's a crowd forming at the checkpoint on the edge of town. Oh, so they're up by the gate. All right. I think the Youth League is assembling over there. All right, well. Uh, we need to make a stop at the item shop. Yeah, we may as well drop off some potions. Get a little extra gill. I think I can sell that uh, circlet, extra circlet I picked up from uh, Xanarkind as well. For some extra cash, so all right, let's take care of that. Let's uh, 17 of those. Two of those. And let's see if we're good on there. Accessories. The circlet. Right, let's sell one, and we're good to go. Awesome. All right, let's start making our way up to the, uh, the gate. Seems like sphere hunters are coming from all over. New Yevon keeps all the spheres to itself. No wonder Spear isn't making any progress. Grown-ups are going to teach those bad people in the temple a lesson. Oh. I wonder if you have to be in the Youth League to join in the fun. Not sure if I would call it fun with what they may have in mind, but... Here's hoping they don't have that in mind for this. Eh, maybe Yuna's presence will help mellow things out a bit, but anyways. Interested League members should proceed immediately to the woods. Avenuja's briefing will begin shortly. Oh, I guess he's here. I think if the... If the uh, there's rumors of, of a uh, sphere and the Youth League is here. Yeah, I guess it kind of makes sense that he'd be here as well. Get to meet him for the first time, I guess. Maybe. These are all sphere hunters? I don't think so. Look over there! Who's that? Greetings, friends. An important sphere is hidden in Kilika Temple, a sphere documenting the true history of Spira. We are here today to demand that New Yevon make the contents of that sphere public. 
Yet, as always, the voice seeking truth goes ignored. My friends, I ask you, why? Because New Yevon wants to hide the truth, just as the temples did before them. I tell you now, this has gone on long enough. My friends, stand with me, and together we will bring the truth back to the people. But let's not overdo it. Our opponents aren't as young as they used to be. <laughs> Not exactly what I had expected. Hey! That's our sphere! Oh, Hopi. So what now? Call it quits? I don't know about you, but I could use an awesome sphere. Hmm. Okay. They can't decide who it belongs to, I say we make it our own. Right? Right! <laughs> I could totally see someone making that snapshot into a Phoenix Wright meme, but anyways. <laughs> Mission time! Awesome Sphere Heist. Break through the checkpoints in the woods and at the temple steps. Once you're in, acquire the sphere that New Yevon's been hiding in the temple. Capture the Awesome Sphere. All right, let's go. But yeah, well, before we go any further, actually, between episodes, I already did all the uh, equipping off screen, so here we go. So Yuna, she's on Heart of Flame Garment Grid. I rearranged it to look like, as you can see there, with the Thief, Gun Mage, and White Mage uh, dress spheres there. And got her on White Mage, so obviously she'll be, probably be sticking on that exclusively going through here. Got her with the Silver Bracer and the Glass Buckle, and should she uh, deplete the MP reserves there, I'll set her on a circlet to uh, help out with the healing there. And yeah, she's got the glass buckle to help protect against poison and sleep going through here. So yeah. Riku, she's on Heart of Flame as well with the Thief Dress Sphere. Uh, don't plan on sending her over to the, the Gun Mage, but uh, yeah, it's the, an option, I guess. Got her with the Twist Headband and a Star Pendant as well, again, to protect against sleep and poison. And for Pain, she's on Heart of Flame with the Gun Mage and Twist Headband and Star Pendant as well. So there we go. Alright, and for abilities, just to quickly go over it, White Mage, Yuna is still learning Kiraga. Once she learns that, it'll open up the next one to learn, and basically the last three skills here open up after the previous one uh, is learned, so it's pretty much just from here until the uh, the mastery of the dress sphere, really, for Yuna. And for Riku, she's still working on Item Hunter. It looks like we may actually get it going through here, which will open up. The next skill down here, which it will automatically go into, so we don't really need to worry about her skills for the time being either. And for Pain, yeah, she's pretty much done with the Gun Mage, but the abilities will be useful going through here, so yeah. Alright, that's that. Let's go. are starting to boil but anyways well we're in the woods and if you recall the last time we were in Kilika, there was a lady there that asked us if we could uh, inform her of any other uh, squatter monkeys we come across so I guess we'll have to keep her ears and eyes open and uh, see if we can locate them but anyways in other words I plan on finding all of them I think there's 13 of them here so yeah all right the first one is I do have a map for this. Uh, if I can track it down again, I'll post a link to it in the video description. So yeah, there's Squatter Monkey number one. Next one is over here. You even still think Spira is theirs to, theirs to control. 
we know there's a sphere in the temple. And what if you're wrong and they are just defending their families? But anyways. Oh boy. Well, previously I avoided fight. Well, I planned on avoiding fighting this, but this is the stalwart. If you recall, we could have run into this thing on the Thunder Plains. And yeah, back then I it, I would have elected to not fight it because just we just weren't doing enough damage to be able to make it worth our time. But we've gotten strong enough where I think it's okay to start taking it out. I'd probably consider it a uh, kind of the same kind of quote-unquote time sink as the, uh, the Shantak was on the... Uh, the Mihan High Road the first time we went through there, so yeah. Alright, so the Stalwart has 1240 HP, 175 MP, you can steal a Phoenix down or gauntlets from it. It is immune to gravity, and for status effects go, it is only susceptible to petrification, confuse, and eject. And it is actually, oh, just an update, I think I may have actually uh, uh, made a mistake. Uh, when I mentioned it earlier, if I uh, did mention it earlier about the Thunder Plains, uh, it is actually immune to armor break and mental break. Uh, I think I might have mentioned it was it was susceptible to armor break. I think I mentioned it was immune to magic break and mental break. Yeah, that was wrong in my best Jerry, so I definitely made sure I corrected it. And yeah, so it is immune to armor break and mental break. So just a heads up there. And uh, yeah, so for the most part, for its regular form, it basically just does physical damage, and it does have an attack that is percentage-based damage, so it'll do 62.5% of your maximum HP, so heads up there. And uh, yeah, so let's uh, probably have Riku Pilfer Gill, and then have Riku and Pain just chain it away, and uh, Yuna, I guess we'll use Protect, and use Prey to heal up or cure if necessary. So yeah, all right, let's do this. All right, attack, and let's get rid of cast Protect. Yeah, the Protect has no effect on the uh, percentage-based attack, but it'll help with the other attacks. And I find that the... Uh, I don't think it is actually listed as having a delay effect on the attack. As you can see, it's taking pain a little time to recover from that attack, so yeah, I guess maybe there's a bit of a... does a bit stun the girl a bit, so yeah, just a heads up there. Try to... Uh, pause a bit before you start the next chain kind of thing. I think this might be a good time to pause. Okay, that was Yuna. Yeah, even Yuna. You can see how long it's taken her to get her wits about her again. Yeah. Ow. Alright, and there it goes. In case you're wondering about maybe using the uh, full throttle dress sphere there, maybe if you have the uh, pumice uh, feather ability learned for it, where it you know it basically casts haste on the uh, on the dress sphere, then I would say maybe consider taking it out with that. Otherwise, just because of the fact that it does the uh, that uh, body splash attack does 62.5% of maximum HP. Yeah, that equates to about 2,000 damage on pain within, in that dress sphere. So, and even if we didn't double it, that'd still be a thousand damage. So yeah, it's pretty nasty to deal with if you don't have at least haste. So yeah, all right, all right, we got these guys going here. So let's have Riku steal and have pain take out the rest. Let's take out the uh, death dauber, and we should be good to go because red elementals will just heal us. So yeah. Right Unit gets a break. I mean, obviously there's the option to not use that, the uh, anti-aircraft attack, but, you know, we've got it. And, yeah. You can still miss the attack, so... I think the best chance of not, uh, oh no, I think I uh, pilfergilled the wrong one. Or I pilfergilled the same one twice. Yeah. Either way, I don't think it, it counts towards the AP if you don't successfully steal something, so no worries. Right, 
What's going on over here? Youth League password was what? Squirter Monkey? Oh, which one is it? I don't know. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I thought the password was Squatter Monkey. I've heard them both so many times I can't keep them straight. Well, yeah, with uh, similar names like that, yeah, or words, I can definitely see it getting a little uh, blurry in your mind about which one's which. Ooh, there we go. There's the other squatter monkey. It's number two. Next one is down here. Number three. And as we'll heal over here, while we're here. And number four is. Right up here, after this fight. Encounter right here, as you can tell, is a bit ridiculous, so yeah. Alright, and what are these? Hey, League Scouts and League Fighters. Alright, League Scouts have 128 HP, 18 MP. You can steal a potion or phoenix down from it. No elemental affinities. It is immune to darkness and... and not use, uh, immune to darkness and curse, and it only does physical damage. The League Fighter has 168 uh, HP with 14 MP. Again, you can steal a Potion or a Phoenix down from it. No elemental affinities, and it is only immune to Curse. And again, only physical attacks. So, yeah. alright, let's do this. on the cross button there. There we go. That's number five. And there's a Protocon Era. Awesome. Go for you. Prey, attack. And there's an Item Hunter. Nice crit pain. <laughs> yeah. The next ability Riku is learning is... Slow Poof. Squatter Monkey number five. Awesome. Oh, almost missed you. None of the direct roads are open. Great. How are we going to get by them then? Hi there. Uh, these, yeah, they're League Fighters. Thinking it might actually be worth it just to pilfer kill with Riku because pain can do so much damage. <laughs> I can one shot both of them. I've got to get to the temple. Yeah, so do we, but all the roads are blocked off. Yeah. Bridge is closed off too. Anything else? No. No, uh, the encounter rate. Yeah, let's just have Rico attack. Attack. <laughs> we had Riku to back follow up if she missed, so yeah. It's not like we need the AP or anything like that. Can we get by, please? No one's allowed through here. Alright. Alright, well. There's another monkey around here. There we go. Number six. So how are we going to get to the temple? Well. We know our route. Great viewers, we know our route. Aircraft.
Yeah, I think I'm just going to give this battle a, as a uh, reprieve for Yuna. Artillery. So glad we've got the boosted casting speed for these abilities. These fights will be taking considerably longer. But... No. <laughs> Just the way this place this is, I guess. This place is. Alright, I guess so. Somebody learned an ability. I think it was Yuna, probably. Yeah, so after Kuraga, it's regen. And after regen learned, that opens this one. Uh, how's Pain doing? Yeah, why am I even bother asking her? I know where she's on. And Riku's pretty much good to go for her abilities until we learn the next one, so yeah. Well, let's head up here. Another monkey right there. Number seven. Before we go across the uh, branch. Number eight. Oh. Get through here. Whoa! What was that about? Yeah, you didn't have to shoot me before you said that. Gah. <laughs> that was close. Both sense is a little weird, but anyways. Get daughter. Anti aircraft. Yeah, let's just give you another break. Steel. Moving on. Right, let's keep going. Hopefully, nobody shoots us before talking to us. And this is the reason why we good idea to have Riku on this, but you know. Speeds things up. <laughs> got slow proof and that opens up the next one. Which is Take a guess. Stop proof. <laughs> Number nine. Over here. Heard it just before we got the fight, but there is number 10. Next one's up here. Uh, not yet. Next one is right there. Right to the left of the little cubby hole there. It's number 11. Couldn't see which way it was pointed. Be surprised if we get a proto chimera oversoul but by the time we get out of here. Alright. Who's over here? What was that password again? Uh oh. 
Maybe it was Craven Monkey? <laughs> well, good luck. <laughs> Uh, your voices through the trees. Want to see what's going on? Yeah, let's take a peek. Why not? What's the worst that could possibly happen? What do you mean you forgot the password? How many times does this make for you? You're hopeless. Sir, I am hopeless, sir. Oh, for the love of... All right, let's try this one more time. If the number of guards at the checkpoint is odd, the password is curved, monkey. Understood, sir. Can I keep watching? Yeah, sure, why not? Or more. <laughs> Still paying attention? If the number of guards at the checkpoint is even, the password is Craven, monkey. You got it? Forget again and I'll feed you to the blasted monkeys. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty. I wonder if that's some information that we could use. Well, well. And there's the oversoul. <laughs> well, we got the uh, Pilfergill oversoul from it already. Alright, so oversold Proto Chimera. You need to kill 12 of them to get here, so yeah, here we are. It has 1,680 HP, 210 MP, you can steal a Null Frost Ring or a Null Tide Ring, so yeah. It is immune to Thunder and Gravity as usual, and it is immune to Sleep, Silence, Darkness, Poison, Confuse, Curse, and Percentage Damage, so yeah. Uh, confuse is the added immunity that it gets from being oversold. And it still does poison and thunder damage, so, or poison and uh, status and thunder damage as well, so yeah. Alright, let's do this. Eh, should I? Nah, I won't. Actually, you know what? It might be worth it just to get the extra gill to sell the item. Alright. It's the common steal there. Alrighty, I guess we're gonna be uh, using multicast of cure here. <laughs> I wasn't expecting to do that much damage, but it did. Wow, okay. <laughs> I forgot about that, yeah. When it gets low on HP, it uses Berserk on itself, which basically turns it into a glass cannon as usual. So, yeah. ooh, we got a Null Shock ring out of that, too. More money! Alright. Oh, uh, we already got this one, right? Yeah, okay. Up to 11. Where is the uh, other one? Oh, there we go. There we go. Number 12. And the last one is right down here. Even at her break. Put the death dauber out of her misery. Ooh, another good steal from uh, Riku there. Another one. Sweet. So many fights, but... And there's Squatter Monkey number 13. I believe that's all of them. So there we go. Alright, so if you head down here, though, right at the base of this tree, it says jump there. Press circle. Then you can jump up.
And we get a much appreciated break from that music. <laughs> Here we get a Mega Elixir. Yeah. But we got some work to do. We can't stay up there too long. As tempting as it may be. Uh, tempted just to run from this fright, but I'll persevere. There ain't nothing I can't steal. Pause. Oh. Well, wasn't long enough for pain to recover. <laughs> after this one. Maybe not. It's going after you now. Did I just see that the uh, body splash damage is affected by protect? I saw the shield no go problem. up when it hit Yuna. Alright, maybe it does protect affect it. Awesome. Even more reason not to use the... Uh, <laughs> Full throttle dress here for that. I'm trying to remember if it does, if it has a. Uh, I know it can buff its defense, um, but uh, not necessarily protect. But I may have to look that up and see. Refresh my memory if it has any protect abilities on it. But I guess. Stop right, that. Let's play. This video is going on long enough, so let's just try to uh, get through this as quickly as possible. on the round one to take out, but oh well. No biggie. Can I get to the save point without getting into another fight? No, I cannot. <laughs> okay, I'm just running from this one. This is ridiculous. So yeah, we didn't run into any. Oh, we may have. No, I can't. Ah, what things I'll do. The only reason I'm fighting this because it's less of a time sink than uh, the stalwart. Right where it hurts. Thanks for the heals, Elemental. But yeah, we didn't run into them, but you could have run into, if I didn't mention before, you can run into run into Yevon Defenders and Yevon Guards as well. Uh, obviously, they're they're human enemies. Uh, Yevon Defenders, I'd recommend uh, leaving them alone and uh, to take out last, because all they do is fire damage, so yeah. All right. But yeah, uh, the Yevon Defenders have 186 HP, uh, 38 MP, you can seal a budget grenade or high potion from it. No elemental affinities, it is immune to curse, and as I said, it just does fire damage, magic-based damage. 
The Evan Guards have 223 HP with 22 MP. And again, you can steal a budget grenade or high potion from it. No elemental affinities. Immune to curse, and it only does physical. It only does physical damage. So there. All right, so we made it through the Kilika Woods. I don't remember the encounter rate being that ridiculous in uh, the last game, but it is in this game, so we had to deal with it. But in any case, we're at the base of the st steps here, and uh, yeah, it looks like we got some guards that we've got to potentially go through. Well, we're going to have to go through them, I guess, if we want the sphere, so I guess we'll have to uh, approach and hopefully we won't get shot next time. This is Intrepid83 signing off, formerly known as Sirik1983. If you enjoyed the video, consider hitting the like button on your way out. Hit the uh, dislike button if you disliked it for any reason, and maybe leave a comment as to how you think I can improve. And until the next time, take care, be blessed, thank you all for spending some of your time here, and have a good one.